Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you health tips that actually work. So all of these fads and everything that we're hearing, um, you know, we all know that it lasts maybe a little bit, but it doesn't necessarily work. So I have been through over a year and a half on my fitness and health journey and have tried out tons of things and fads. Um, but I just wanted to give you some tips that I have that I think actually work. And I have seen the largest difference in um, my overall fitness and health so the first one excuse me the first one is drinking water so I drink probably about a gallon a day I have this um, trimmer bottle actually is what my camera is sitting on right now um, it holds 38 ounces I probably drink like five at least of them a day and there's 128 ounces in a gallon I know that because I used to track calories and all of that um so water is just I mean you all know there's so many benefits keeps you full, helps your digestion, um, but not too much because that'll kind of clog up your digestion um, if you're having any stomach pain, like I do frequently. <clears throat> it's really good for your skin. People always tell me I have such soft and pretty skin, which is like a great compliment, but I really attribute it to how much water I drink. Um, then the second one is eating a big breakfast. So I love breakfast. I didn't know how people used to love breakfast, but now I understand it. Um, so eating a big breakfast, all those calories you eat in the morning, your body is going to use and metabolize throughout the entire day. So honestly, by the end of the day, in theory, if you're concerned with this, your body will burn off your breakfast. So it's a, like with um, your RMR, your resting metabolic rate, I guarantee you that how many calories your body burns by just existing in a day is more than how much you're gonna eat uh, for breakfast. It's normally like 17, 16, 1500 calories. Um, so eating a big breakfast um, has been a key to success. Keeps me full and energized throughout the day. Number three is being outside or walking daily. So this is getting more into the mental health side. Um, being outside, it just does something. Um, getting like 10, 15 minutes a day even of just that natural sunlight. Being out around people, being out in the nature environment, in the real world, real life, um, is very important to your overall mental health sanity. Kind of just gives you that dose of reality and you never know what can happen. And same thing with walking around. I walk a ton now as a college student, but getting that 10,000 steps, if you can, that's a good goal to aim for every day. Um, walking is just vital to everyday life. There's not much else I can say about that. Um, and then going along with the mental health, number four, I guess, is meditating, doing yoga or journaling or, or reading or something like that that really calms you down is super vital like it's gonna help your sleep it's gonna help your focus help your stress levels anxiety i mean i personally don't feel stressed at all i don't know when the last time i was really really stressed was just because my mindset is in such a good place and i totally attribute that to those things so i would highly suggest doing that another thing um i guess number one, two, three, four, five. Number five is doing more of what makes more of what makes you happy, less of what makes you not happy. So really making that time, long story short, really making that time for yourself every single day and doing what makes you happy. Try to limit what does not make you happy as much as you can. Create and design your perfect life. So this could be cutting out negative people from your life trying to cut back on activities that you don't like. If you hate your job and you're there for most of the day, quit, get a new job, like you can do it. If you don't like your major, same thing, you can change it. There are many things in life that we have control over and we can change. So really try to do more of what makes you happy. So the next one is eating more variety and practicing balance in everything. Um, including food, so I'll get into that last one a little bit later, but eating a variety of foods, um, fruits, vegetables, grains, dairy if you can tolerate it, like yogurt and milk and stuff, um, different, some, some processed stuff if you eat that, you know, um, like healthy things like bar bars, protein bars, um, eating just a wide variety of things so your body can get a wide variety of nutrients and kind of get used to other things, um, very important. And then practicing balance when it comes to work, health, love, and fun. So I heard about these kind of gauges like on a car um, in the Design Your Life book that I just read on Audible. Um, that's another thing uh, that I might make a video on, but 
Audible is like great, can listen to books, it's not sponsored or anything. Um, I think there's something on my camera. Okay, hopefully got it. Hopefully that wasn't there the whole time, Ooh, sorry. Um, but so in the book, he talks about having um, the different gauges, work, health, life, and or love and fun. And I did the exercise and realized that my work gauge was like 100%. Like I work so much um, between school and being at the rec and having like my clients in my classes and stuff and then doing my own personal stuff. Even though it's fun, it's still work. Um, like I'm mindfully putting th putting my creativity and stuff into the content. My health is obviously like 90, 100% full because it's my life. <laughs> and love is like 75% probably. Like I have a good support system. I could have stronger friendships, um, but I have a great relationship with my family and my dogs and myself. So I consider that pretty decently full, but then my fun was just so low. So I have started going out on the weekends again with my friends, um, not really drinking, but I can still have fun. That'll be in another video why I don't drink. But so really looking at these gauges, making sure that you're having an equal balance of all of these things. And I've noticed that I feel even happier now that I have these things kind of in line. Um, and that also includes food. So. Yes, this is a lifestyle, so you are allowed to have treats and fun foods. That's what I like to call them. So having balance with the fun foods, don't restrict yourself. So these are some of the things that I have found that actually work. Um, another random tip, I don't know if this is even gonna be numbered, but is like doing a warm up uh, before you exercise. I've noticed a huge change in my muscle firing, like for example, like a muscle activating, like my glutes. Um, getting ready to do some type of exercise, uh, doing like a warm up and foam rolling or things like that um, help a lot more than stretching I feel like, but stretching is still very important. So I might do a whole video on like fitness tips that actually work, but so that was it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like the video, comment something, um, what you liked or didn't like, what you wanna see, if you wanna see some book review type of things. And if you like the content, be sure to subscribe, uh, let your friends know to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.